Offering, but we always say bring the Bible yes. because we don't depend on technology, technology can fail. Yes. So we always encourage the saints to take their Bibles. But many times we have visiting friends, and probably you didn't get the chance to go home, and so on. So I was from the other day trying my best to see if I could source some Bibles in order for the church to have oh, Bibles. Yes. So as when persons come in, visitors are in the saints who forgot their Bibles, you could have a Bible not to take home, but to be able to be used in the sanctuary and be placed back. And I'm so thankful to God that there is a person, a particular person who I will leave nameless, praise God, who saw it fit to donate some Bibles to this ministry. We will be having two shipments of the Bibles and the person did not only buy the Bibles but they paid for them so the only thing we're going to do is collect praise God and so these Bibles are donated to the Restoration Center Ministry and these are ours officially so they will be inside the church so the ushers please make note of our visitors and so on and if they are in need of a Bible ensure that they get a Bible but we have them to be used in the kingdom everybody say amen, amen. are we thankful yes. are we thankful yes. all right I want everybody to shout a big thank you so the person if they watch this they can see it so after three everybody say thank you two three thank you. God bless you God bless you in Jesus name.
out of my mom's house and she gone to a different place. And you know, even my uncle warned her that the place that she's at is not a safe place, but she was still there on the disobedient saints of God. And she got raped. You know, and the thing that I keep playing in my mind is what she wrote in the book. The details of how the rape was when they were raping her. One was saying, kill the girl. And she said, no, I have three children. And one was saying, you have three people. And she said, yes. And says of God, she didn't have one child. She died without a child. But at the, at when she realized that death was at her door, she was bawling for mercy. And they spared her life at that point, says of God. And she still, she was still disobedient to the word of God. She was still disobedient to the prophecy that she got. And I thought that the second thing that happened to her would have been an eye-opener, says of God. But now my sister, within that same year, she got raped in June. And by the September, she was a dead woman. So when you come to the whole saints of God and our pastor will call you, our pastor will say, come to the altar. The Lord loves you. Turn your life over to the Lord. Don't look on him as if he's just pastor. Pastor is just saying this just because he knows me and he knows everything about me. So he's telling me the saints of God. You have to listen. You have to listen to the prophecy. And even if you don't believe, pastor, go home and say to God, God, should I do this? This, this is you. If it is your will, God, then let this happen. If it is your will, mighty God, then send another confirmation just like Gideon. He wouldn't stay still with one confirmation. He asked for another and another until God sent the confirmation. Bless God. So I'm saying to you, listen to the voice of God. Bless God. I told you that the church is a hospital, you know. And at the hospital, you don't go to the hospital and tell them that you have a broken leg and you're going home to dress it and take care of it and come back now. Mm -mm. You go to the hospital for restoration. Is there anyone here today? Look in your life. Look in your life. Praise God. Who's ready to surrender? Oh God, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Are you ready, my daughter? You're ready to surrender. Come on, come on. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Put your hands together for you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. And you're a backslider. And you're ready to surrender today. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Have you been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, my dear? You're a backslider. Are you ready today to surrender to the Lord? Come on. If you are here and you have not yet been baptized and you want to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. raise your hand right now. Hallelujah. If you want to follow her example, is there any other one? Do we have any more backsliders? Put your hands together for her. Saints. Saints, rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. We have one more to be baptized. We have one more to be baptized. I now therefore baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For the remission of sins and you too shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I now therefore baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins, and you too shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Not many days hence. I now therefore baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you too shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Not many days hence. I now therefore baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you too shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost not many days hence. I now therefore baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you too shall receive the Holy Ghost not many days hence. She obeyed the word of God. So I'm asking you at this time to welcome the new the new sister Shanar O'Connor. 
comes in and do what you know to do and make them all welcome in the name of Jesus. Come and make them welcome. Come and make them welcome. Take me from the mood and put me in a air. 